Checked in. So, what's backstage like? Is there like lots of women and celebrities around? Uh, no, it's a, it's a climate controlled storage facility. This used to be a dump and they bought it and painted the walls and made it look nice. Now it smells. Ta-da! Oh, How'd you break your leg before the show? Oh, well, so props. A lot of the business is props. Poles, cutouts. We used to go steady, but she broke up with me. Park scenes where you add lots of flowers and props for New Year's or proms. Centerpieces. Also, every color fabric under the sun. They hang these from the ceiling, put a hook in here, put a hook in here, drop it down, and there's these fabric sheath beautiful looking things. They're all wrinkled. People love them. You want a bow? We'll make a ribbon out of a bow. Look at that. We have never used that as long as I've been here. I don't even know why it's there. Really, the essence of being a clown is it's here. It comes from this part. Uh, my two nicknames growing up were Little Joey Run Run and Little Joey Motormouth because I never shut up and I never stopped running everywhere. Hey, you want a limo for your next event? Here it is, right here. A professional clown can give you the drive or a magician can drive you around town. Spend a lot of time opening and closing doors. These are costumes, lots and lots of costumes. Costumes of all different sorts and shapes and sizes and styles. Hats. That's all you need, a bunch of hats. All right, you laddies, well, come on down. We'll have a good time and we'll find the party go and drink a pint of Guinness. Oh, I say, the Kentucky Derby is so wonderful this year. I look like a Greek man, I think, with this hat. Or I drive a train, I'm not sure. Yeah, man, we got that stuff over on here. Just go out the back, it's probably out there. Look out for Cleo, see bots. Ugh. We got down to the Tunnel 4 and it was like the gnarliest ride, man. Well, you know. <laughs> If you, if you need some reefer, you can come get it, because we've got some in the back. It was a cold and dark, stormy night. Hello, my darling. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. A little bit rusty, but, uh... You want a clown in your parade, you got to have something funny to ride. As a clown, I offer a couple of different skills. Juggling, uh, magic, bubbles, blue animals, unicycling, and costumes. So a lot of, uh... A lot of an entertainer's life is junk. Uh, it's stuff you really don't need or use. I think uh, the bane of all artists is to always struggle, to always wonder, am I worthy? Am I doing it right? Is this the thing I need to do? You know, is this good enough? My friends will introduce me and say, oh, you know, this is Joey, you know, he's a clown. And I'm like, and that's why I'm still single. You know, I used to think that you know you had to have the wife and the kids and the picket fence and the house and the job and the security account and the 401k and you know the health insurance and you know that this is what it takes and that's that's this external reality that the universe says this is what you have to have I don't have any of that I'm none of it what I do have is this you can't be like I'm a great clown because nobody cares so a lot of what you have to do is constantly educate yourself become smarter become better and the way to do that is turn your vehicle into a university on wheels, whether it's a CD or a tape. I'm an old person, so I have tapes. And then when you get bored and you can't take it anymore, turn on the radio. Because, you know, you need static in your life. That's... So there's a stigmatization against clowns, that clowns are evil and scary. But we preach this, you know, acceptance of other people. We, we say, and we talk about this level of, you know, don't judge somebody, and yet, there's somebody you've never met, you don't know anything about, and I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, you're horrible, disgusting. What, what did I do to you to make you want to hate me because I dress up as a clown? What, what am I doing as a clown? I'm, I'm attempting to make people smile and spread joy. I mean, there's lots of worse things on the planet you could be accused of doing, you know, making somebody smile. And 
you, you're going to watch this film and you're going to see me doing something, you're going to laugh. At some point, I'm going to get you. And you're going you're gonna to smile and you're going you're gonna to feel better. Then that's all my work has ever been. It's for that one briefest of moment, for that smallest of steps, in the entire course of your life, I made you feel good at just that instant, at just that moment. That's it. My work here is done. <laughs> They're all going to fall into my evil plan. World domination. <laughs> Creeps in this petty pace to the last syllable of recorded time has but lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out, brief candle. Life is but a poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing.